so i was talking about the meeting with the prime minister he said you must look at the big picture the big picture is what he revealed to you that you must land on the moon and indian should go and land on the moon by 2040 he gave us that vision he said that we must make a space station for ourselves and it must be achieved by 2035 already been mentioned it not only resonated with the society all across the country but it resonated equally well outside the nation everywhere i had the opportunity to travel and meet uh, people from outside the country they were really congratulating us for this momentous accomplishment became the first nation to land on the south, south pole of india it's not a small thing and becoming the fourth nation to even land on the moon and for a nation like us when there was a belief that we are buying technology from somewhere and building all this some way or the other for them it was a surprise to see the success and we must cash on this so i was talking about the meeting with the prime minister he said you must look at the big picture the big picture is what he revealed to you that you must land on the moon and indian should go and land on the moon by 2040 he gave us that vision he said that we must make a space station for ourselves and it must be achieved by 2035 and for all of that you need to do many many things like going to moon again going to other planetary bodies like venus mars and continue our exploration in a manner that is indian we have had a frugal engineering capability we have a cost effective technology that is very very surprising for many people i am i am getting a lot of questions from media in europe media in us how did you really do that how did you achieve chandrayaan 3 at a low cost i tell them it, we are indians we know how to do it at a low cost <laughs> i think what is most important is is to have that ability to withstand failures and then come out again successful i think this is something that you can look at your our story in isro you can understand how many failures we have seen when you are getting this congratulations and accolades for the chandrayaan 3 success i always look back and try to find out the element of failures in our life and how we overcame that i can tell you this year itself we were successful enough to overcome three major failures i will tell you for that maybe a moment the chandrayaan 3 success came after the failure of chandrayaan 2 four years back we had this failure to go through the mill of understanding a failure and come out successful is not an easy task and we had a failure of gslv rocket the last launch of the gslv rocket was after the failure of the last mission just one previous to that had was a failure in the cryogenic stage we understood that failure corrected and became successful this year same is the case with the new rocket we designed the small satellite launch vehicle possibly some of you know about it the first launch was a failure and that happened last year this year we corrected made it successful and launched very very successfully this first time the success of this rocket so three major failures we corrected and became successful this year and that gives me such a pride and you know prestige